Back here talking some NBA now. We head to Brooklyn where they welcome the return of superstar Kevin Durant. He and Kyrie look good in games one and two. Like, really good. Like, really, really good. Like, fish called Wanda kind of good. But since that 2-0 start, a loss to the Hornets and a loss to the Grizzlies where KD and Kyrie both rested. With that, we welcome in Chris Broussard. So Chris Broussard put a grade on KD, KD, Kyrie, and the Nets one week into the season for us. KD, I like that, Jenna. I, I, I don't yeah, know if that was a stumble, but that names. sounds good. I'm in a rush. KD, that might be better than 7-Eleven. Who's yeah, got the time? I like that. Yeah, but exactly. A, a minus. A minus. They they are playing lights out basketball. Let me talk about Kyrie Irving for a minute. Kyrie Irving is playing like he is absolutely one of the best players in the world. He's playing so well that I think rumor has it Nick Wright is thinking about moving him up like five tiers. I oh, mean, whoa. he looks unstoppable. We, we know KD. <laughs> we know KD is unstoppable, right? But Kyrie looks unstoppable because of his handle. His herky-jerky moves, his ability to finish at the rim, and now he's shooting the three like Damian Lillard and Steph Curry? I mean, he looks phenomenal. So, A-minus for these guys. KD, KD is still working off the rust, even as he's averaging 27 points a game and shooting 53% from the floor. But KD is shooting 69% from three. And only 47% from two. That tells you that this is rust. Because obviously the three-pointers are less contested. So what he's getting used to are contested shots, which he hadn't faced in 18 months. So that's why you see his mid-range, Jay, is not where his three-pointer is at this point. And of course he missed a, three, a mid-range shot at the end of the Charlotte game that could have tied that one and given the Nets a chance to win. So they'll, he'll work off the rust. I got to say this to Nick quickly. Nick, you've been riding them about, oh, they're going to be horrible defensively. Not bad, but horrible. Yep. Bottom five. They <laughs> are. No, it's early. I get it. But they are number <laughs> one in the league in defensive efficiency, Nick Wright. All right, A minus. I see no reason to think that they won't make the finals. Yeah, so look, I'm yeah, glad that you said that, Chris. I'm going to jump in here real quick, Nick, and then I'm going to toss it to you quickly because I love when you Please. two talk about basketball. But I'm glad that you said A- minus because the lazy answer would have been, you know what, this is a C, maybe a potentially a B- minus because these mm. guys won the first two games. They beat the Warriors by 26. Then they go to Boston, beat them by 28, a really good Boston team, and then they lose to the Hornets. Then they lose to the Grizzlies. So when I look at this, I see a team that came out that tried to prove to themselves that they were a good team, first and foremost. And second, make a statement and prove to the entire NBA world that we are here and we are the best team in this league. So when you look at it, to me, this is the culture of the NBA. Now, when we talk football, I consider myself an expert. We talk basketball, you guys, I consider you guys experts, and I consider myself uh, 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 talking about it as from a fan's perspective. Grew up playing the game and absolutely love it. I watch it all the time. So when I look at it, guys don't play ball in the, at the beginning of the season. They pick and choose when they want to play, Nick. Like these guys right now, they're like, you know what? Let's see if we start off hot. If we start off hot, then maybe we'll go after 65 wins, 70 wins, see if we can go after a record or two. But for the most part, these guys don't play defense until the time is ne absolutely necessary. This is the culture of the NBA. So them sitting at two and two, they're still an A-plus Nick. Okay, so I, I am <laughs> living once again in a crazy house. Oh. So I'm going to oh. give them an incomplete. I'm going to give them an incomplete. Okay. Let's start with what everyone agrees. Elementary school? With. Everyone agrees. No, I'll explain why. I, well, I can't believe y'all are giving out A's for a team that's five <laughs> games. It's, four A's. Games. it's not the preseason. I get it. It's but, only but, four but games. It, it, yeah, yeah, and they've lost half of them. I mean, it seems to matter, but who we're knows? Counting, well, the record doesn't matter. We're counting Listen, Memphis. It didn't. Oh, okay. We're counting, we're counting Memphis. Well, we're going to get to that in just a second. Because we are. All right, what well, we can all agree on. The most important thing for the Nets, Durant looks awesome. He, he, he looks like he was never yeah. hurt. That is the most important thing. We all agree on that. What I think we also all agree on, the Dinwiddie injury 
is a big deal. Not just because he was a starter for them and valuable, but because it ruins their ability to trade for James Harden. That's gone now. We can pretend Who that that doesn't Harden? matter, but that's, oh, I don't know. He's averaging 37 points a game. Seems like it's good, but I don't know. Listen, it, it, whatever. Again, the Nets are the number one defense. They have an A plus Come and on. they're two and two. But now let's talk about the <laughs> Memphis game. And this is my question. And anyone can answer it. Why didn't Kyrie Irving play? Why? Someone tell me. You, in the game before, Spencer Dinwiddie tears his ACL. Your other max guy, Kevin Durant, is coming off a ruptured Achilles, can't play back-to-backs right now. Totally reasonable, totally understandable. Kyrie Irving is 28 years old, fully healthy, on a max contract, his team's coming off a loss, <laughs> yeah. coming off a major end, coming off a, losing a starter for the year, and the other superstar has to sit out. Play! What are we doing here? Why is Kyrie Irving sitting out already? Nick? He's not hurt. He's not dealing with an injury. And don't tell me this is what everyone does. Because it's not what everyone does. He's 28 years old. Nick. And so we're just going to say... Go ahead. Yeah, Brandon. I, I'm Go. with you when you're right, buddy. You are right right now. This is my team. Why is he not playing? I picked the Nets, and I am with you right now. 28 years old, max contract, totally healthy. Your butt need to be out there playing. But the, but, he, but it he is the play. culture. It is the culture. I, I, yeah. I don't understand it either, Nick, but it is the culture. Look, I, 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 I hear you, Nick, and I, I won't push back on that. It would have been great to see Kyrie playing. It's interesting what you're, they're doing in Brooklyn, if you watch it, they are playing Kyrie and KD together all the time, pretty much. Usually teams will yep. stagger when they have two superstars. One will always be on the floor. They're not doing that in Brooklyn. They're both averaging, ironically, 31.7 minutes a game. I don't think it's going to stay that close this year. But, you know, they're, they're doing it differently. I, I'm with you. I give you that one. But remember, Kyrie is injury prone, too. This is a guy that played, what, 20 games last yep. year? But for those years in Cleveland with LeBron, when he even, even got hurt then, means. he got hurt in the finals, we know that. So he is a guy that you do have to, almost like uh, Kawhi, he's a guy that you have to oh, treat God. gingerly oh, well, and make sure. I'm great. serious, though. Look at his. Well, they need to go. Nick, no more, look great. at his history, though. Is he not injury prone? Well, if they, I, I don't, you know I, I, that. I, that's a whole nother conversation. If you're injury prone, you need to go work, work out with our colleague, Jenna Wolf. If you're in the NBA, NFL, you got a title, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, of uh, being injury prone, call Let's Jenna go. Wolf. She'll get you right because like you are pro. Take care of yourself and get right. Wild. Yeah. Nick, you know they look great. You had a house so of, all you could do you is a house Kyrie Robert. for not playing. You know they no, look no, great. No, no, Broussard, here's. Here's the thing about looking great, because that's what I thought too. I was like, oh, it's an A+. Plus. Then I saw this graphic from Seth Parno. 12% of the game, no, sorry, times leading by, by 20 plus points. 12%, it's more than ever. Because I thought those big wins over the Celtics and the Warriors, I was like, wow, the Nets are rolling. Then the Lakers blow out a team, the Clippers get blown out. Like Teams are just getting blown out now. So as high as we want to be on a team that's two and two because of those two big blowouts, that everyone's getting blown out. So for me, I'm gonna yeah. I, I have to downgrade them to like a B plus, A minus. The other thing, Broussard, and I know we gotta go to break. Down the amount of mid-range shots that Durant is taking, and we know that he likes the mid-range, he wants to go old school, and he's not going to the rim aggressively like he used to. Right. It's it's not a concern yet, but it should be on everyone's radar. It's like, hey dude. Why don't you get some layups? Why don't we get some dunks here? We know we love their mid-range, but we're turning into a little DeRozan-y. It's a very pretty That's graphic. Right. Good uh, take. Broussard, good thank take. you so much. Great to chat with you today, and it was a good take, Wilds. And anytime two and two. anyone wants to A plus is me, all around. I'm happy to say. Hey, he right probably better, better be hey, moving back to the NFL. Incomplete. A plus. He better be moving. Incomplete. What is this?